Gone Batty Bat Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the next of my little pun nails, and this one is Gone Batty. So there's a cute little bat at the top of the nail, and the background is a gorgeous purple, so it's like a lavender, kind of a milky color that goes into a bright purple, into a black, and it's sort of a smoky gradient that looks a little bit foggy kind of. I don't know. I love it. I think it turned out fantastic. And then it just says Gone Batty on it. So this is the second of my pun nails and there will be four and I'm not uploading them right in a row so they're kind of jumping around throughout the rest of the month. So check back for them. Before the end of the October, before the end of October, I will upload all of them. So if you like these, check back. And also don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with a really pretty smoky kind of background that's very eerie looking, I suppose. So I'm going to start with black at the tip of the nail and then brush that up or pat that up to create that first layer of color. Don't take this all the way up to the cuticle, like I said, just kind of keep it at the tip. And then I'm going to take a bead, and this is a semi-clear, almost like a jelly color of lavender acrylic. I'm going to take that at the top of the nail at the cuticle and brush that down. And as you can see, it does kind of blend in with the black and create sort of a smoky look. And then take a bit of a brighter purple right in the center and try to blend blend those two colors together. When you're doing this, you don't necessarily need to worry about blending it together 100%. I kind of wanted to keep it, like I said, a little bit smoky looking, so I thought that was perfect. And then I'm going to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that this nail will be nice and strong, and it will just kind of actually help blend those colors together a little bit further too. So just take and encase that, and there you go. And then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file, starting out with a pretty coarse bit to remove any bulk that there may be, especially for me with those colors that I use, the cuticle area got a little thick on this one, so I wanted to make sure I thin that out. And then I'm going to be buffing over the entire thing with a much finer bit just to refine the surface texture, make sure it is really nice and smooth. So then with my black acrylic, once again, I'm going to be sculpting my cute little 3D bat right up in that lighter area of the nail. So depending on how you're doing your gradient, you could do this however you like. If you did the black at the cuticle area and then had the lightest color near the tip of the nail, I'd put the bat in the tip. So whatever, whatever area of your nail is the lightest in color, that's where you want your bat to be so he shows up the best. That is only necessarily speaking if you do a black bat, but you could also do a lavender bat at the tip of the nail and it also look fabulous. So really it's up to you. Um, but just sculpt kind of a, a really basic shape for your bat. I didn't go too crazy into detail for him. So for his body, it's just kind of like a circle with two ears and then the wings are a V shape at the top and a W at the bottom. So then for his facial features, I just painted his eyes starting out with a little two dots of white paint just like so and then below that in the darker section of the nail I'm going to be writing gone batty so I'm going to start with the gone and as you can see I start out with the n and then I painted the e and then I'm going to be adding the o and the g before that and when you're doing this you can really have fun with your fonts you can do something very Victorian to kind of give it more of a eerie vibe and then after I've got my gone done I'm going to write batty beneath that so I have my two t's adding my y and then I'm going to add my A, and lastly add the B and um, in the front of all of that. After I've got my all that's all my white painting is done there. So I'm gonna put my white paint away, and I'm gonna grab green and add a little green dot in my bat's eyes. And then taking a very bright shade of purple paint, I'm going to be painting over my batty letters with that color. The reason I put the white down first is if I were to start out just with that brighter shade of purple, it would have never showed up over the top of the black. And so adding that layer of white really pops out the neon colors and makes them so bright. And then black dots for the pupils in the center of my bat's eyes. Apply a layer of gel sealer over the entire background, cure that, and then apply some matte top coat over your cute little bat and you're done! I think this nail is so cute. All of these little pun nails that I'm doing for Halloween, I am so in love with. I'm thinking of making a necklace with the four of them. I don't know. We'll see. So I hope you guys like this as much as I do and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!